Now listen up, this is Christopher Martin, and I'm here in the 254, and you're in tuned to Impasha TV. Don't touch that dial. Stay right there while I keep rocking my babies in the treetop. Love ya. Ease up. And of course, we are hanging out with Chris Martin, Mambo. Mambo VP. Po. Po. <laughs> po, po. That is great. You have an album called And Then. Yes. Talk to me about it. Well, And Then is a 15-track body of work. Um, that when it was released in May, it um, debuted number one on the Billboard reggae charts. Um, no collaborations, it's strictly Christopher Martin. And um, it, it wasn't planned like I want to do an album just by myself. Yeah. It just happened that way. Yeah. And, it, and, it, and, it, and it was very successful. It's still doing very well. So I'm very happy about that. But um, yeah, it was named after my son. Well, initially. It was supposed to be named after my son because my manager thought my son's name was going to be Anden, but his name is actually Aiden. Wow. You know? Yeah, so wow. I told him the name is fine. It, it shows progress. It shows continuity. Yeah. It shows longevity. So I love it. Yeah. And then. And then. Wow, that's <laughs> great. And of course, our, our president was in Jamaica. Yes. Uh, how did you react to the, to the collaboration between Kenya and Jamaica? It is, it is awesome because both places are my homes. You know, so, so once both of my homes are working together, it can only be awesome for us. You understand? Um, President Kenyatta is, is a very intelligent and, and, and he's, a, he's, a, he's a man that... Well, we, we, we watch the, the, the speeches and all of that, and um, it seems as if it's something that will work well for both countries. You know, and, and I appreciate that. And um, I think my prime minister is coming here as well. Yeah. So it, it, it is something that will be very fruitful. For, for, for our cultures and for our entertainment sectors as well. So I'm all about it. Yeah. You speak so highly of your mom and you even dedicated a song to her and Definitely. to all the mothers in the world. Definitely. How does the, What does she think about your success now? She, she is so supportive of me. My mother is so supportive of me. She's always been there from I just started. Um, yeah. Even before I started in the music business, yeah. um, she's a Christian, so I used to go to church. And I used to sing with her, yeah. you know, so, and she loved that. So even when I, I, I started singing secular music, like reggae music, dancehall music, she still supported me, yeah. you understand? So that is why I keep in mind that my mom listens to my music, so I have to keep it clean for the most part, you yes. know? Keep it clean, keep it love. And um, yeah, and she supports me, man. She's, she's my rock. She's my rock. She's my cornerstone. She's my foundation, you know? So yeah. I had to express in song how much she means to me yeah. and, and how other people should treat their mothers, yeah. definitely. Chris, do you still believe in your cheetah's prayer? No, it, well, to be honest, that song wasn't about me, you know. I was just singing about what happens on a day-to-day -day basis, yeah. you know. It yeah. wasn't really about Christopher Martin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, 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 you know, it's just a song. Women are very beautiful, very attractive beings. And um, as a man, you know, you see a beautiful woman, even if you're in a relationship, you will look at her and you will be attracted to her. So if you don't have the power to stay away, you know, some of us, you know, we have to say the prayer. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But that song wasn't about me. Don't worry, I'm not a cheater. Oh, you're not? No. Oh, great. <laughs> you guys, Chris is not a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Of course, uh, how has having kids uh, shaped you? Um, being a father has been one of the best experiences of my life. Yeah. You know, it has made me more patient, more understanding, and um. I love it. I love the whole experience. I love coming home off the road and seeing my kids and, and see their faces. They're so happy to see me, you know? Um, and everything that I do right now is for them. So it gives me that zeal to work harder and just to do more. That's what it's all about, man. I love my kids. I love being a dad. I love the whole experience, the whole vibe. Yeah, man. Lastly, yes. what legacy do you want to leave? What do you want us to remember you for? I, I, what do I want to leave behind? I want to leave a legacy behind that Christopher Martin was an awesome musician, somebody who believed in people, believing in themselves, understanding their worth, understanding their value. And I, I gave them that vibe. I gave them that feeling, you know, so they can put on any one of my songs. And for years to come, even when my, my, my being in the flesh isn't here, my music will stand the test of time. That's the kind of legacy, you know. I, I want to be an ambassador for music worldwide. So anywhere you are, you can say, oh, Christopher Martin from Jamaica. You understand? So, 100%, man. That's the legacy. Right. Asante sana. Say Karibu. Karibu. Asante sana, Karibu. Karibu, Karibu. <laughs>